Empirical provide compelling, interactive learning across a range of delivery options. Live on site, live online, or online anytime, we have a training course that is ideal for you. For a no-obligations chat about your training requirements, contact us at empirical.com. A key part of the 5G Air interface is the frame, and that is going to be impacted by the numerology. So we need to start by detailing what we mean by numerology within 5G. We have to look at the frames, the slots, and the symbols and how that actually all relates to a 5G deployment. We also then need to start introducing things like the new radio time unit as well as the cyclic prefix. Remember this is part one, in part two we'll go on to, into other aspects looking at more detail. So these are all the different things we're going to look at across part one and part two. So to start with then we're going to start by detailing what is numerology. So Numerology is effectively an indication of the subcarrier spacing, and currently in 5G, you can see numerology goes from 0 through to 4, and that goes from 15 to 30 to 60 to 120 to 240 kilohertz subcarrier spacing. Now, as far as what we're talking about here, we're talking about taking our channel and creating uh, what is a physical resource block, the same terminology we use in. 4G, but it's slightly different here. This is a frequency domain, and that physical resource block will have 12 subcarriers. And we, we use 12 in 4G as well. And in this example, I've got 12 times the 15 kilohertz, so numerology zero, which, which equates to about 180 kilohertz there. As we change the numerology, what's going to happen is the subcarrier spacing doubles, and therefore the size of this physical resource block, still 12 subcarriers, is going to double. Okay, so you can see the numerology has a big effect on the size of these resource blocks. So you can see it's going to double, 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 double each time. Um, and as we go up, it's always 12 subcarriers, but the actual, the, the actual size in terms of kilohertz is going to vary drastically depending on that numerology. Now, it's worth noting that you don't just randomly pick which numerology you want. You'll find the numerology is very linked to the frequency band that you deploy on. So if you deploy on a lower frequency band, you'll be using a lower numerology. If you up in the millimeter wave, you'll be picking up a, a higher numerology. And at this point in time, you know, going into, the, into where the frequency range 2 is, you might find that you're not using all of these numerologies anyway, because we're not going high enough in the frequency domain. It's also worth highlighting that these numerologies are associated with cyclic prefix sizes. They all support what's called the normal cyclic prefix size, but there is the odd one out. The odd one out is the numerology 2 there, the 60 kilohertz, which you can see has normal and extended. Now, the reason being is um, that is because uh, that numerology, that is where you transition from the deployment from possibly a cell sort of um, uh, wide beam antenna to a, a effectively a beam forming antenna. And therefore, depending on how you deploy it, depends on whether you need a normal or an extended cyclic prefix. So if you're going to use a wide band antenna, you'd probably need an extended cyclic prefix. If you're going to use a, a, a beam forming antenna, you could get away with a normal cyclic prefix. So again, it depends on deployment there. But that's the only one that has the ability to support an extended cyclic prefix. Another key aspect of 5G air interface is the term slots and slot length. And again, it's worth pointing out that the numerology will carry on as a discussion across all of these items. So here's a table that denotes the different numerologies, but now it identifies how many symbols you have in a slot, but more specifically, how many slots you have in a frame. And a frame lasts 10 milliseconds. Um, so if we start looking at that, we have a 10 millisecond frame like 4G. We have subframes lasting one millisecond. And what we have is a number of different configurations here. So the first option there in red is numerology zero. 15 kilohertz, we have 10 subframes. Each subframe carries one slot carrying 14 symbols. If we change the numerology to one, we double up the amount of slots. So in a one millisecond subframe, we now have two 
slots. So we've doubled up in there. So twice as many slots. So you get twice as many symbols in the time domain. But remember, you've actually doubled the frequency domain from 15 to 30. So you've actually, you know, you're not gaining in terms of number of symbols, you're just changing the way that these symbols look. What you now have when you hit numerology 2 is a choice. Now, you can see the, the, it's again a doubling, so we've got twice as many slots again. Uh, the only choice you've got there is you can see it says 12 or 14 in terms of the number of symbols. And that's to do with whether it's a normal or an extended cyclic prefix. Um, so normal would be 14, extended would be 12. And then as you go down, again, doubling, and then doubling again as we get to numerology number four. And in numerology four, effectively got 160 slots in the frame, each subframe carrying 16 slots. Okay, so you get the idea. It's 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 based on the configuration of the network. So the network, which will have been deployed at a certain frequency in a band, that band would use a certain numerology, and based on that numerology, depends on the the actual physical makeup of the channel. And that will allow us to better describe the frame structure. So to describe the frame structure, we've got to think about what's the numerology, and what we've got to think about is, as I mentioned, we have a 10 millisecond radio frame that includes 10 subframes, each lasting one millisecond. So that's the same as a 4G system. However, depending on the numerology, depends on how many slots you have in each of those subframes and across the frame. So if the numerology was zero with a 15 kilohertz subcarrier spacing, there's one slot per subframe, and that would give you 10 slots in total across the 10 millisecond frame. As we go to numerology one in green there, you can see we get twice as many slots. And as we go to numerology two, 60 kilohertz subcarrier spacing, you can see it goes up to four slots per subframe. And you can see we're up to effectively 40 slots ac across the radio frame. Now, it looks like you're getting more and more and more each time, but remember you are actually doubling, doubling the, the, the frequency bandwidth. Uh, required for the, the, the physical resource block, the 12 subcarriers I pointed out, they're, they're getting bigger and bigger and bigger. So effectively, there isn't actually any saving there. It's just changing the, 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 how, it, how a symbol looks. And we'll we'll visualise that very, very shortly when we look at these slots in a bit more detail. So here we have these slots. So what we're saying there is in a slot is either 14 symbols, that's a normal cyclic prefix, 14 symbols, normal cyclic prefix. And what I've tried to visualise here is... In a numerology zero, 15 kilohertz, the, the symbols are very narrow in the frequency domain, but they're quite long in the time domain. As you go to numerology one, 30 kilohertz, the green one there, you can see we've gone bigger in the, in the frequency domain and shorter in the time domain. Okay, so you can see that's what we're messing around with. We're messing around with the frequency and the time components of a symbol. Now, it, it does look like you're getting more symbols, but you are using more frequency, and therefore, by definition, it, it's a trade-off. Uh, so the, um, you're not actually getting any more symbols per second as you move through these different options. Now, when you hit numerology number two there, remember 60 kilohertz has normal extended cyclic prefix, so obviously 12 or 14 symbols we mentioned. And as, as you can see, I've gone all the way up there to numerology three there uh, as, a, as an example. So what we're saying is in a radio frame with a certain numerology, numerology zero in red, we get one slot per subframe, each carrying 14 symbols. If we were to change the numerology, that would double up the number of symbols because there'll be twice as many slots. But remember, we are using twice as much frequency in the, in the frequency domain. So you can see, you know, it, it's, it's lots of different visualization aspects associated with a 5G air interface. So two more things as part of part one. We're going to look at, first of all, the time unit, then we're going to move on to cyclic prefix. So a 5G time unit, what's that? Well, in 4G, we had time units, and time units in 4G was called TS. Um, in 5G, we've got something called a TC value. And the TC value, there's an equation there, 1 over delta frequency uh, times N. N, as you can see, is 4096. So this is linked into uh, uh, fast Fourier transform sizes and things like that in the system. And the, the F max there is, uh, as you can see, 480 kilohertz, which is a current, obviously, uh, maximum as far as some of the, the numerology aspects is concerned, uh, as far as the, the standardization. But what you get is these time units. 
and it's, as you can see, 0 0.509 nanoseconds, so it's a small unit of time. And everything on the air interface is, is a, a multiples of this. So it's used as a time unit. Now, you'll also see, in addition to this equation, there's this K value called kappa. And this is the ratio between the 5G time unit and the 4G time unit, and it's constant. Um, so kappa is a constant set to 64. So effectively, the time unit of 4G was this. The time unit of 5G is 1 64th. So 5G has a lot more granularity in the time domain in terms of time units. OK. And that's going to have a good knock-on effect to how we describe the cyclic prefix. So when we look at cyclic prefix, cyclic prefix will depend on the numerology. As you increase the numerology, and the symbols get halved and halved, then what's going to happen is the cyclic prefix gets halved and halved as well. So when you look at any symbol, inside that symbol, a percentage of the front will be a cyclic prefix. And what you'll find is, you can see uh, in here where my cyclic prefix is, it says NCP times TC, the time unit. So it's a number of time units. And what you'll find is in the the calculation we did earlier where we had the 0 0.509 nanoseconds approximately, um, what we can do is we can identify how big these different cyclic prefixes are. So first of all, the, the, the brown area in the middle there, that's the sort of the, the main part of the symbol. That's 2048 times kappa times 2 to the minus numerology. Remember, numerology is either 0, 1, 2, 3. And obviously, if you are minusing the numerology, what that actually means is as you increase the numerology, this value actually halves and halves again, which is what you'd expect, because the symbol duration obviously halves and halves each time. We then have different cyclic prefix options. So if the numerology was uh, effectively 2, 60 kilohertz, we can use what's called an extended cyclic prefix. So as you can see, 512 times kappa times 2 to the minus numerology. And then you've got these two other equations here, which is to do with normal cyclic prefix. I'm not going to go into the finer details of these, because I'm going to try and visualize them on the next slide. But ultimately, this is the first cyclic prefix in, in, the, uh, in the slot that we're going to be looking at. And then obviously, you've also got one a little bit later as well. And the best way to do is, is just to visualize the two different. Remember, the one previously there had the 16K extra on it. And we'll visualize that very, very shortly. So let's just move on to this slide here to try and visualize what we're saying. So here we have one subframe. The three numerologies I've got examples of 15, 30, and 60 kilohertz. And what I'm saying now is, what? Well, you can have 14 symbols. Those 14 symbols, the cyclic prefix has a certain size. But if you can spot at the start and the what they call the half switching point uh, in there, what you can see is the cyclic prefix is slightly bigger. That's that 16K value being applied. As you move on to 30 kilohertz, numerology number one, you can see it's the same thing. So what they've done is they've done the equation such that these half points have slightly bigger cyclic prefix. And it's usually because these are the points which maybe a subframe can transition between an uplink and a downlink in a TDD solution. And therefore, sometimes you want a little bit bigger cyclic prefix when you do that to align the timings. And it even goes through all the way down all the different numerologies. I'm not going to go any further than this one. But you can see that you know, the, the start and the halfway switching point has a slightly bigger cyclic prefix, which was from that equation that we identified. Now, when you deploy 5G, you deploy it with respect to a, a frequency band. That frequency band will then have a knock-on effect to the numerology that you choose, the subcarrier spacing. And that numerology will then have a knock-on effect to how you can deploy the system. For example, if using in red there the 15 kilohertz numerology 0, that is very well suited because of its large cyclic prefix to be able to do big, large cells. OK, so you can see up the side there, you've got the ability to say small, medium, large cell size. Along the bottom, you can see we've got the frequency and we've also got latency. Now, obviously, the bigger the cell, 
by definition, the bigger the latency, because it has to get to the device and back again. So you get the idea of more latency there. But also, as you mess around with numerology, that's also going to have a knock-on effect, because symbols being very large means you've got to wait for the whole symbol before that is actually received. Whereas if you reduce the symbol duration, high numerologies, the data can go to you and potentially back to me and to you and back to me. So again, it will improve that, that latency aspect as well. So higher uh, numerologies, which relate to higher frequencies, also reduce the latency. Again, and in those scenarios, you'd find, in addition to that, because it is a higher frequency with a smaller cyclic prefix, and because it's a higher frequency because of propagation, it typically means we're now going into smaller cells. Okay, so when you get to a small cell, you could use your 15 kilohertz subcarrier spacing. But what you'll find is you're probably over-engineering the cyclic prefix. You, you know, you're probably wasting energy on a cyclic prefix that you don't need. So it would be better to move possibly to a 30 or a, a 60 kilohertz numerology. Again, depending on the frequency band of that small cell. As you start increasing the frequency, um, you will find naturally, and because of the standards and the bands, you'll be moving up through the different numerologies anyway. Okay, so it's just be mindful that you know all these factors have a have a role when it comes to the 5G deployment and different service providers have, 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 have positioned themselves depending on the frequencies that they're deploying with and obviously is it a small cell, a large cell, possibly looking at things like latency, possibly looking at other attributes associated with obviously their numerologies and their frequencies of deployment. So in summary, we've identified 5G new radio numerology, 0 to 4, uh, looking at the subcarriers and how that might change, how it influences the slot uh, size, the length of the slot, as well as the, you know, the, 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 the makeup of the frame. Uh, and we've identified, yes, you choose your band. That band will have a knock-on effect to the numerology. That numerology will have a knock-on effect to your frame structure. In that frame structure, based on the numerology, you'll have so many slots, higher numerology, more slots. We've identified that the whole of the air interface is based on timing, and we've identified we use TC as a 5G timer unit, and there was a relationship to the 4G timer unit, TS, uh, using that, that kappa value set to 64. And then finally, using that and also part of the discussion of numerology, we've identified that we have cyclic prefixes. And again, we, we, depending on the numerology, depends on how big those cyclic prefixes. And based on that and the numerology and the size of the cell and the frequency, all of these things relate. Need to know more? Why not visit our store where you can choose from over 200 hours of video-based training? Alternatively, you can contact us to discuss any specific training requirements you may have.